Hello everybody, this is another CPS Web Tips for Wind Shuttle Studio. And today we will be talking about updating material characteristics in transaction MM02. My name is Mark Plensky. I've worked with SAP and uh, Wind Shuttle for 20 years, primarily as a um, programmer and here at CPS as a senior process developer. Um, I've been here for several years and uh, feel very comfortable teaching this next step. I've done it for several clients and I hope it can help you. So our goal is <clears throat> how to properly record a script that will update transaction MM02 for the class characteristics. It's kind of a unique situation and there's a few things that you have to be aware of and handle properly for this to to work. A few quick reminders when recording wind channel struggles with knowing which row you clicked in certain situations. And so we use the find icon when available and I just encourage everyone to be willing to try several attempts to get a good recording. Sometimes things work better the second time. Think of it as a adventure. Every time you record, you might learn something new and you're going to develop um, your skill set a little bit better. So just keep a positive attitude about it and let's go do this. So up here into Winchell Studio and we're going to do a standard recording for MM02. using our test system here and it's a bit slow so bear with me first thing we're going to do is type in our material that's going to pop this up um, make sure that we clear anything that might be selected and then we can choose our classification in this case even though it's the first row yeah, and just in the off chance that you'll be some using something besides the first row. Let's find it. So we're going to find the class. And that will bring it up to the top. And so we will execute that and brings it in here. From here, we are going to uh, enter a class. And that will go here. And you just want to make sure that it's the right one for your testing purposes. We will then click the green check, have the characteristics pop up, pop up down below. And here, instead of just clicking which one you want to type into, because some of these uh, classes might have many characteristics, some of them on op different pages than this. Down below is hard for Wind Shuttle to find that. So let's use the um, position icon here. And in this case, I am going to use screw length. Brings it to the top. I will input my value. And we'll just do the one this time, but I'll talk through quickly how we could uh, add multiples and we will save that. Now let's go check that out in SAP very quickly while this finishes recording. So this was what I had done. And you can see that we have the class type uh, at the class C screws and we have the proper screw length in there now. So that we can um, verify that our script works. Once this is done, I am going to delete this. Save that, basically start fresh from that. So here is our um, script that we've created. We'll go in and do a couple things here in the expert view. First of all, we will add the extended log 
want to run log down here as well. I know that order is backwards. I, I'm not concerned about that because um, expecting everything just to work on this one. We will drag in the material number. Get the material class in there. Class number. And we care about the characteristic and we will care about characteristic value. So uh, pretty basic, uh, very simple at this point. So we will, since there's just the one entry, we'll go ahead and save this. And jump over on the run tab. Let's test this out and uh, see how it did. All right, it claims it was changed with the information that we provided. So let's hop into SAP and double check. You guys were my witness that I just deleted everything properly. And there we go. We see the um, classes in there. We've got the characteristics uh, with the values. A couple things to be aware of. Again, when you're recording it, you don't you don't want to click on this because if there's, you know, 25, 30 characteristics, which sometimes happens, right? Windshield does a poor job of finding that. So make sure you're positioning, and that will bring it up to the top row. And um, if you wanted to do multiples, <coughs> it's absolutely something you can do, and I'll most likely record that into a separate session. But this was a quick um, how-to video. And we appreciate your time on this. I hope that you are able to replicate this. We've, at CPS, are experts at what we do, and if we can help with something, please reach out and let us know, including useful videos that might um, help you. If you have a web tips idea, go ahead and share it with us at info at clearprocesssolutions.com. And I really appreciate your time.